Power system equipment have long life cycles. Utilities keep existing substations in operation for as long as possible, but at the same time introduce modern secondary equipment whenever possible through partial refurbishment or completely new installation. Often such modifications have led to the introduction of the latest technology in substations. However, there are many older systems still in existence, which results in a mixture of technologies being in use. Consequently, operators have to deal with devices of all generations and specifications. Some of the relays still in use are electromechanical and may operate on a 5 amp nominal current. In many cases, these relays operate without even an auxiliary DC supply, although a growing portion is made up of modern IEDs. Testing all these relays with a single test device requires a lot of power, high current amplitudes, a DC voltage source to supply the relay and, increasingly, the provision of IEC 61850 testing capabilities. Another relevant issue is the overall weight and volume of the instrument, affecting factors such as handling and shipping costs. For commissioning or maintenance in remote places, for instance at decentralized power generation installations or at international turnkey projects, small and lightweight tools are preferable. This combination of requirements in distribution network protection, industrial applications, substation automation systems, and international project business creates the need for a small, powerful, and lightweight test device, the CMC-353. The device includes four voltage outputs, which can generate up to 300 volts each. Its three current outputs can supply 32 amps with a maximum power of more than 400 VA per channel. They can also be connected in parallel for a single current channel delivering up to 64 amps. The high amplitude of the current channels allows the testing of overcurrent relays, even those rated at 5 amps, and their high power is particularly relevant for electromechanical relays, especially if their power is supplied from the CTs. Most CT-powered distance and overcurrent relays can be tested with the CMC-353 in a three-phase or single-phase mode. Due to the high amplitude of its voltages and currents, the CMC-353 can also be used for injection into primary circuits, for instance, to verify correct wiring and polarity of CTs and VTs. CMC-353 units can be used to inject current into the CTs at the ends of a power line for testing line differential protection systems, with up to 64 amps in single-phase mode or 32 amps in three-phase mode. To measure the response time of up to 10 wet or dry contacts, the CMC's binary inputs can be used. The CMC can either be controlled with a PC or via a removable touchscreen display, which allows the efficient manual control of standard protection tests. Because of the display's robustness and its non-reflective design, it is perfect for outdoor operation, for instance, for primary injection tests on CTs and VTs or for checking secondary wiring. Both modes of control are independent from each other, meaning that if the PC is out of service, the CM control provides backup operation and vice versa. If the CMC is controlled with a PC, it is connected via Ethernet, either directly through an Ethernet cable or over a network. The control cable can be up to 100 meters long. Its Ethernet interface allows the CMC-353 to be used in IEC-61850 applications for testing using goose messages or sampled values. The back of the unit also provides low-level signals, allowing it to control further amplifiers in cases where the number of signals available from the CMC is not sufficient.
With a surprisingly light weight of 13 kilograms, this unit provides the user with the ultimate in power, precision and flexibility. And as can be expected from Omicron equipment, it is extremely robust.